G'day and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at September 23rd, 2025's Parody Sweeper Sudoku by Clover. If it was one of us, those who are at Gas HQ, so my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? Uh, I'm about to record three of these in a row because uh, it's school holidays. Happy school holidays to any and all teachers out there. If this is the time of year at which you observe school holidays, I don't know when it is, uh, not in Australia. Uh, but I'm going down the beach, and I don't want to have to record videos while I'm down there and don't have Wi-Fi. So, um, yeah, this is me ahead of time. So, uh, yeah, we're Gauss, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create sense of genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You'll find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time, one hat is for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into it now. So, pardon me, uh, this is a parody sweep of Sudoku. So, what does that mean? Normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, we. I know what a column is, and each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. And in the grid, we have uh, cells. Now, these cells uh, indicate that... So, I've circled this 5, for example. So, uh, this 5, in the 8 cells around it, must have exactly 5 odd digits. This 4 over here, in these 8 circle uh, cells, must have exactly 4 even digits. So, what that means is digits in circles indicate the number of digits in the surrounding up to 8 cells that contain a digit of the same parity, so odd or even, as the one in the circle. So, that's it. That's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into it now. Let's do it. So, um, you could probably do this one without colouring, um, but I'm going to do it uh, because uh, it's helpful for those of us who need a little bit extra visualization. So my personal preference is I make purple, e uh, pink or purple evens. I don't know if that's, uh, if that's, um, you know, odd, e uh, if that's pink or purple to anyone else but me, but I always call it purple. Guess there's a tinge of pink in there. So this eight needs to have eight even digits around it. So all of those must be pink. Now, I'm going to just do this now. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to do this because we already have four uh, even digits in box five. We know that that must be how that works. So, uh, this six can't go in one of those two cells. So, that's a six. And then two and four are resolved by that two and four. This cell sees two, four, and eight. So, that has to be a six. This cell sees four, six, and eight. So, that must be a two. Uh, now, uh, one and nine left to place in the box. We can do that pretty easily. Now, uh, we have some, we have a lot more information now. Let's go back to coloring. Uh, we have three evens, which means as a maximum, we can only have five odd digits. So we know that those must be that. Uh, not gonna do center marks just yet. Uh, we have three odd digits here, which means we can never have another odd digit around. Uh, so that's eight and four. In rows three and four, we now have all the possible even digits we can have, meaning we can lock out all of those as being odd. Uh, we now have five odd digits in box three, meaning uh, we can only have four even digits left in box four. Uh, all right, now, Let's go back and check uh, what we still got going. That five has four odd digits around it. That has to be odd. Uh, this three, we don't know enough about yet. But we do know, actually, we do know that that's nine by Sudoku, because that nine and that nine. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this five we've resolved already. Um, all right. Oh, and over here, sorry, that's a, that's a pretty big one. Uh, that has to be a three because that sees four odd digits. Now, all of those now must be even. Uh, do I know enough about any of them just yet? No, not really. Um, yeah. Uh, so, all right, let's 
have a quick scan of the get grid and make sure I'm not missing anything parity wise. Um, that can be 105, that doesn't help. That's 107. Oh, that's actually a 17 pair, uh, making that a 39 pair. Uh, the reason why I'm very keen about doing stuff like that is one of the things if you're trying to like scan and improve your like odd even. Ah, that's what I'm missing. Four there in the corner. One, two, three, four. It means that that has to be odd. Uh, all right. Now, uh, so that is, a, that's why you pencil mark this. One, three, nine, five makes that a seven. Uh, one has to be in one of those two cells. All right. Uh, and then five, six, and eight along there. Don't quite know what I'm looking at yet. Uh, or looking for. Ah, but I do know that this is a four, eight. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be really helpful. Uh, there's still two odd digits to place in that box. Uh, so, uh, four and eight get resolved by this four down here. This is a two, six pair. Uh, now this eight cannot go in that cell. So it must go here. Uh, that is an eight. Odd digit. Three over here can go into one of those two cells, so that's three. This is a five seven pair. Uh, I already knew seven had to be in one of those two cells, so I'm not going to pencil mark that. But this is an eight. Uh, this is five seven. Uh, this one over here will do some damage. Three nine. Uh, all right. Ah, this cell. This cell uh, can't be two, four, six, or eight, so that has to be odd. And this is an odd even pair, but that's not super helpful. Um, all right. Ah, that's even. I just completely missed that. No, it's not. It's odd. That, wow, I have just made an absolute meal of this today. All right. Uh, all four of those now have to be even because I've just placed all five odd digits across the top. Uh, that's eight and six, uh, two and four. Uh, now that's three, e <laughs> that's three even digits, uh, around this five over here. So this is now odd. Uh, this has to be a three because it sees seven, nine, one, and five. Uh, this is odd, even, boy. Ah, uh, we have four. We have four even digits in the uh, box seven. Ooh, uh, that's the last place I can place an even digit in column one. Uh, okay, five can't go there in column one. So that's a seven. That's a five. That's a seven. Uh, five can't go here. Three and five, making that an eight. And this three over here is the last little bit of variant logic. That's got three odd digits around it, so that's going to be three evens. Uh, all right, I'm just going to quickly finish off the coloring, then we're going to blast through it. Uh, where does the four go? That's a. Ah, uh, that's a. Uh, and there it goes. Okay, so that's a four, and these two are even. All right, let's power through this. So, where does seven go in box two? Where does seven go in box two? Like that. Uh, nine via column two, seven on pair. Uh, five and three, make that a one. That's a three, that's a five. Uh, two and six along here. That's a two, six, which makes this a four, two, six, two, six, two, Four sees that cell, so that's eight and then four. Uh, do I know enough to do that box just yet? Uh, one, five, seven, one. Yeah, there we go. That's a five, so that can only be a one. Seven, five, one, seven. Uh, five, seven, six. Take the one out of here. That's one, that's nine. Uh, this is two, and then four, eight, and six. Um, that has been Parody Sweeper by Clover. Uh, that was not the cleanest solve I've ever done in my life, but, uh, good puzzle. I enjoyed myself. Hope you did too. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Oh yeah, sorry.
That's been Parody Sweeper by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy, wherever you are in the world. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.